everybody. My name's Susan and this is my channel Susan's Road Less Traveled and unless something really personal pops up on this page I'm going to take you along on my filing of my 2022 uh, Fed and state taxes um, as I try to <clears throat> see if my tax advocacy um, attempt mid-year last year is worth it so I'm gonna link in the description box below the previous four videos I'll link them in order um, describing the issues that I've been having over the last three years with my tax uh, I my Social Security identification apparently being locked because the IRS um, in 2020 identified my number as assigned to a deceased person and therefore my whole um, attempt and ability to file my taxes both fed and state uh, was locked up for two years so last year i in, uh, instituted a request through a tax advocacy service tied with the irs to help me navigate that situation and in August, early September time frame, I received a message that everything was clear and I would not have any problems. And so, and as well, in late September, I received a letter from the IRS indicating that they also owed me um, $216. Um, however, they still haven't paid me for 2021. Um, to the tune, and I'm talking about federal, to the tune of $1,001. So I'm in the process right now of trying to file uh, 2022. You can see here right now it's stating that the Fed owes me $340 and the state owes me $1,160. Um, last year the Fed owed me $1,001 and the state refunded me $940. So... Um, I did end up trying to file through TurboTax, e-file, and four times in a row it bounced back at me telling me that I had this code error saying, and by the time I researched it, realized, you know, here I go again with the lockup. So um, I ended up paper filing, and prior to receiving my federal refund back, I got my state refund of $940. And so I've never, and I have stated this in a previous video, I've never received a state refund prior to getting my federal refund. Um, I always thought that state fed off of the fact that if federal's okay, then state's okay. Uh, but I did get my money back from the state and I still have $1,000 hanging out there. Well, I'd call it $1,217 hanging out there with the Fed, um, and now I'm gonna add $340 to that. So I wanted to see if any of this would come information. So it's checking my return. Federal return looks in great shape. I could have started a little bit further along in this uh, process. If anything pops up that's personal, I'll edit it out. Um, but so this has been, so I'm getting a $340 refund. Why? I don't know why. Uh, um, of course, I'm sure everybody that I'm that's hearing this message, y'all understand that the idea is not to get money back. The idea is to net zero on any of the state or federal taxes. That way you're using your money, my dogs are playing, you're using your money during the year and the Fed and the state is not sitting on your money and using it. So see what happens with the state. I've used TurboTax probably for the last 13 years of my life. Um, I recently 
in the last year and then over the weekend, as a matter of fact, just went through and threw away or shredded um, prior to the last seven years of um, I, my, I, I'm really an easy filer. I don't have any um, currently any um, mortgage, property taxes, any of that kind of stuff. Um, I take the standard deduction. Super simple. Okay, so time to send off. Let's e see what happens when we e-file. And I'm loaded up in my email so that if I get an error, you'll see how fast this error comes through. Um, so 340 from the Fed, 1160 from the state. I'm going to pay probably about, I don't know what it is, $100 to file both, which is basically just using the TurboTax software. Um, if I end up having to paper file, then they're charging me basically for the number crunching. Um, and I'm fine with that. So they tend to, they end up taking it out of your federal return. Okay, so currently I'm awaiting this to spin around and give me the filing procedures. It's, okay, great news, I'm getting back $1,500. Yip D. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to view my payment options. I'm going to take it out of my federal refund. Hmm. Setting up my refund. Do karma money. Other refund options. It's going to, in theory, direct deposit to my checking account. And I'm going to do the same thing on my state. next thing I think it'll bring up is how much it's going to charge me to process this. De chosen to deduct my fees from my, uh, in deduct my fees from my federal refund, get ready to save and file my returns. Okay, so now it's wanting me to get ready to e-file, so let's see what happens. So again, for the last three years, I've been unable to e-file within five minutes, if that, I get an error in my email uh, that it's unable to process. What kind of info? I printed my, how did I file last year? I printed and mailed my tax return. Uh, no, it hasn't been processed yet. Sounds like it was asking for my AGI from last year. I may have clicked past that. Okay, so here you can see that I'm getting charged $167 that's going to come off of my Fed refund to give me a net $173 from the Fed in order to process um, this. So that doesn't have anything to do with the e-file process. That's just using the software to 
manage both my federal and state refund, which I could probably do for free, easy breezy, but I've just been doing this for so long. Um, so I'm, I've signed all the, signed all the forms federal wise to e-file and have it direct deposited. Okay, for the sake of privacy, um, I stopped and I entered, it verified my address, it verified and gave me a PIN number and verified my birth date and the date that I was filing, my phone number and my email address as an options to see transmission trouble. Okay. Transmission trouble. Hmm. Okay, wait five minutes. It's 5.45. I'll be back. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I got sidetracked, got some dinner, and we're going to hit this again. Okay, so I just walked back through from that error earlier. 15, 20 minutes later, I'm back into the system. It literally backed me up seven, eight screens and had to walk through all of the re-verification info. So I've hit submit return. It's giving me a Snoopy dance graphic. So what I'm looking for is the fact that my social security number is clear and that e-file is accepted by the IRS. If I get an error again and I'll probably recognize the code, then I'm back to the drawing board. And what I'll end up having to do is paper file. Confirmation email is on the way which I've gotten before, so okay, well, I may be headed in the right direction. Um, this is not a message that I got last year in filing, so my return has been sent. It's going to take 24 to 48 hours to process. Here's my confirmation. Sent it on the 26th of January. Estimated acceptance Sunday the 28th, or sorry, Saturday the 28th, and my e-file status is pending. So um, I'll be back and add on to this if and when I get the confirmation that it's been accepted or that it's been declined. Okay, y'all, well, here I am about 30 minutes after I pressed and got the response saying that my return was being processed within 24 to 48 hours, and here's my response. Your federal tax return was rejected. Um, let's see what happens when I go in and fix and file. Um, this is where I get the error. Oh, okay. TurboTax isn't working, fix and file my return, page not working. So not only did I get um, fed, but state was also rejected. So I will be on the phone tomorrow. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go into TurboTax and paper print uh, or PDF my returns and get them printed off and ready to file with my W-2s and paper file them tomorrow and then I'll be on the phone with the IRS. So I'll be back with an update on my conversation to, to close out this particular blog. And okay, so I went back in and fixed an error where it was asking for my 2021 federal AGI uh, that I thought in my mind I had blown by, um, but here's my result. I e-filed, went through the whole process again, and here is my second uh, rejection on both Fed and State. So I'm done. They're printed, envelopes ready to go, stamps already on them. 
I will try to get through to the IRS tomorrow and just talk to them about where last year is and why it's not paying and what my issue is again and then I'm just going to paper file and I'll sit and wait. So it's a very frustrating situation. Um, I'll come back with just a quick update. Uh, go ahead and post this uh, video out and then if and when I get through to the IRS, hopefully tomorrow at some point, then I ha can have an update and maybe just do a short on it. So I hope nobody's going through this themselves. If you are, leave a comment. I'd love to know where you're at, what your experience is without, you know, obviously fuming about it. It's just so frustrating. Um, so I'm to the point now, and depending on whether state pays, which they did last year when federal didn't, um, I am currently sitting being owed about, I don't know, $2,500 at this point. So the other thing is, is I don't know how TurboTax gets their money because if they can't, I don't remember whether they billed me last year or not, they can't take their fee out of my federal return if it doesn't e-file. Um, so maybe I got to use it for free. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Um, anyway. Everybody have a good evening, and I'll be back with some more, uh, hopefully some positive results. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.